don't mean jack. You understand? Okay. You're going to have to go back to what is recorded. And you're going to have to go back and prove that. And because you were not writing in your language, but rather they were writing in Latin, and they were writing in Greek, you're going to find two words, Latin and Greek. One is morenos, and the other is nigger, the Greek word for black, found in your Bible in Acts chapter three, verse uh, chapter 13, verse 1, where they call him nigger, right in the Bible. And that word, you look it up in any Bible dictionary, means black. They were calling Jesus' disciple nigger. Right, so calling yourself a Hebrew Israelite is not getting you nowhere. You follow? Now, when you go before this man, and you want to get from under paying tax, you want to get out from under his laws, you're going to have to present a reason why. Saying that you are in bondage now because you're an Israelite don't mean nothing but somebody tied your hands up. That's what the word bondage means in a legal document. They don't give jack whoppy snap about the Bible. Otherwise, they wouldn't have you raising your left hand to it and putting your right hand on it. You follow what I'm saying? So don't fall for that. All right, so now you get back here and they say that who are you? Who are you? The world wants to know. Now, you know what we throw back at them? I'm Muslim. I'm an Asiatic black man. I'm original Hebrew. What else do we call ourselves? You know what I'm saying? Then he goes, like the Pharaoh did when Moses came back into Egypt, the Pharaoh said, who is your God? And he said, Jehovah. And he said, let's look this up. He said, we ain't got no Jehovah's in here. Moses, I'll be right back. He went back to Jehovah. He said, Jehovah, I told them about you. And they said, um, you ain't in the book. Who should I say sent me? They said, say I am, that I am sent you. So Moses tracked back across the desert, went before the Pharaoh and said, uh, go ahead, what's your, what's your case? I am that I am sent me. And they looked at Moses and they said, it's, not, you know, it's cool, it sounds nice, but where's the proof? This is what you're doing. You're going before the great Pharaoh of this land and you're walking in there and you're going, I am a Muslim. And they're going, and I am the original man. And they go, go ahead. That's all I want to say. <laughs> and that's all that happens in Farrakhan's speeches. We are the original people. We are the so-and-so. We are the this and this. You are the that and that. He beat you up. He took this from you. All right, now put some money in that can. I'll see you all next Savings Day. He ain't saying nothing. And if he says, we are Shabazz, the people are going to open the books of history and do what? The same thing like with Moses. They're going to start going through the list of nationalities, tribes, identities, and say, mm, Shabazz, 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 Shabazz. Mm, Shabazz. Shabazz, just a minute. Shabazz, Shabazz, Shabazz. Shabazz, uh, that shit ain't in here. <laughs> well, Master Farad told me, who? Master Farad Muhammad. Excuse me. Took him another book. And who's he? He's our God. Oh, my God. Okay, Master Farad Muhammad. No. Farad, Farad, Master Farad Muhammad. He ain't in here. This is what's happening to us. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going on with us every day. It's been going on for 400 years with niggas standing up with, the, with a somebody else's culture and coming at the world as if they represent us. You understand what I'm saying? But now if you step back and say, um, say, uh, who is your God? Say, I'm my own God. I can be found in every one of those books. Because if you just trace out the history of Jesus and his description according to your Bible, you'll find that Jesus is black. Your hair like lamb's wool, feet like burnt brass as if they've been burnt in a furnace. 
That is the description in the Bible. I don't care what the hell you got on the wall. I don't care who drew that picture you got up there. According to the Bible, that's my description. When I want to trace out Moses, I know Moses was born in Egypt, so Egypt is in Africa, so Moses was an African. That's who I am. And Moses, according to your Bible in Exodus chapter 7, verse 1, went into Egypt as a what? As a what? As an Elohim, as a God. You know why he went into Egypt as a God? Because he couldn't go before him as a man, because the man in charge saw himself as a God. So when you're sitting in, church, in a court, and that man is sitting on that bench in front of you, right up there they got God. He's sitting up there. What does he call himself? Magistrate. What is that? The master. The one in control. God. This man makes you put your hand on a Bible over here on the left side of the court and then makes you make a plea. What is plea abbreviated for? Huh? To beg. How do you beg? Now, the statement is, in God we trust. Correct? Right. So if you said to him, I don't plead, I trust in God. And you're not God, so you can't sentence me, because vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So now, if you want to sentence me, you've got to bring the Lord down here personally and have him sitting on that seat. That's the only way I can get judged or in God we trust have to come down because you ain't my God and I don't trust you. You may catch hell there in court, but you'll be right and you will eventually win. And if they can hush it up, they'll push it out to court. Because you don't have to plead to no man that has a court that says in God we trust. You would have to deal with who? God. And, and that judge is not God until you surrender yourself to him in a plea. Or what they refer to as a plea bargain. Listen to that close. A plea bargain. I commit a crime. Right? You're the judge. You know I committed the crime. The DA works under the judge. He knows I committed the crime. And I know I committed a crime. My lawyer knows I committed a crime. And I can go into the back room and make a deal called a plea bargain. Which means the judge, the DA and them are willing to overlook the crime. Is that justice? No. If I committed a crime, I should be tried and sentenced. How can you give me, how can you make a bargain with crime? If there's laws of right and wrong, how can you bargain with it? How can you butt our crime? That tells you there's no system there. You understand? You pay tax because you want to pay tax. And they'll chase you down and beat you up for those tax because you want to pay tax.